Hey guys, this is Wacko Lab, and today I'm going to show you my Lego food trailer mock. And as you can see, it is in nice proportion to a Lego minifigure here. And, um, to order, of course, they would have to put up a little ramp form like most food trucks have to get up to the window. Food trailers, I mean. And also, it has a trailer hitch over here that can hook up to any standard Lego trailer hitch, so it can be carted off with um, virtually any uh, any uh, truck that Lego makes that has a trailer to hook up to it, and um, or you can just uh, make your own uh, SUV or truck or something like that to hook this up to. But um, anyway, as you may have already noticed, that the banner up top or the header, whatever you want to call it up here. Um, it doesn't have any stickers like uh, like Lego hot dog stand or anything like that. And over here at the menu it doesn't have any type of stickers. But sadly I wanted to do that. But sadly my printer isn't functioning properly. And I'm probably going to have to end up getting another one. So um, anyway I'm just going to say that this is a food trailer for sale. <laughs> so I uh, don't know what to put on the menu or anything. So I'm just going to say that. But anyway, um, also there is an awning right here, just in case for rainy days while they're waiting for food, they don't have to get soaking wet. And you can easily take out the two poles here that holds up the awning. It doesn't really hold it up, it's just more for show. Just looks a little better there. And they can just fold down the awning like that. And it folds up really nicely for on-the-go travels. Of course you want to take the menu inside so it doesn't blow off. And let's turn this around. It has tail lights here and blinkers on each side of the mud flaps. And like most food trucks, the banner doesn't go all the way around because that's just an extra expense and no one ever looks at the back. <laughs> and um, there's a little window to see out from the trailer to see what's going on in the back. So no one's stealing anything, I guess. And there is a, this red thing here is just holding up the banner here. And this is a chimney. And I uh, probably need to move this red thing down one space. But anyway, I can do that in a little bit. And uh, this chimney is um, directly above the grill that is inside the food trailer. Which I will show you the inside in just a minute. And here's the air conditioning unit that sits on top. Because it probably gets a little stifling in there cooking on the grill and here at the back is the door to get inside the kitchen and I'll show you that in here in a minute actually in just one second because all I've left to show you is just the front here this just gives you um, uh, I get some uh, I have some nice rounded edges up front like most trailers have And now to take a look on the inside, let me take off the top here. It's fairly easy to get the lid off, I guess you could call it, the roof off of this. Probably be easier if I put some flat, smooth pieces up here, but it gets off really good anyway. So, don't want to make this thing too tall anyway. So here's what the inside of it looks like. It's kind of cramped a little bit, but still able to have a nice workflow in there. And a minifigure, even with this tall chef's hat, is able to stand in here. And still have room for the roof to come on, so it's like really tall in there. I think it's about uh, 7 or like... Yeah, I think it's seven bricks high. Six bricks high, I mean. Six bricks high. And I will take off this back wall here. So you can look on the inside a little bit better. This could get a little tricky here. Let's just hope for the best. Let me take it behind the camera so, it doesn't, so I don't just destroy it. But if you want a tutorial for this, just leave a comment down below 
and requests for a tutorial and I'll be happy to do one. I'll just need quite a few requests before I do it because this is quite a large creation. But as soon as I get quite a bit of requests, I will probably do a tutorial on it. But anyway, here's what the inside looks like now that I have this side off. And uh, as you can see over here, hold on, put this in. I have to put this in whenever I open it up, otherwise whenever it, it's uh, just sitting in there, it could fall into the floor and it just goes crazy and it will probably end up losing it that way. But anyway, um, this is the deep fryers right here. As you can see, here is what the scoop or the basket looks like, or the scoop to get the things out of the fat fryer. And I get this vent piece here. Uh, it kind of looks like french fries. It's the only thing I could find that looks like french fries, and I normally just drop it in there. But anyway, I'll just leave that out. And here is the grill right here. and has two temperature knobs. has a vent hood and a little light here so they can see inside the kitchen. And as I said earlier, the grill leads right up to the chimney very nicely and yeah it leads right up to it and here is the sink here it's closest to the door because the first thing you want to do after being outside is wash your hands and over on this side of the trailer has some drawers for the guy to put his money in and his receipts and things top drawer and a bottom drawer that opens up fine and a little bit of counter room up here and also the window here the ordering window we fold up this awning again like that it um, as you can see the window is open so they can order but you can also close it shut like that so the window opens and closes really nicely but anyway I'll show you what it looks like in here now that the sides off so Anyway, that is my food trailer mock. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do not forget to like, favorite, and to subscribe. And also, be sure to check me out on my Facebook page. That should be in the, There should be a link to that in the description below. Also to my Twitter to keep you updated on what's going on. And also, uh, be sure to check out the other sites listed below in the description. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Wackalab. I'll see you next time.